salutations and welcome back to butterfly pretty stay fly how are you guys doing out here in this youtube universe all right guys okay what is going on like i finally i haven't called up all the way but i'm getting a little tidbit over here a little tidbit over there a little bit you know, a little put, 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 put right there. What's going on? Like, and this is what I be talking about when I say that this stuff is energy draining. It's like the common stuff that we deal with in everyday real life. The backstabbing, the two-facedness, the... It's like, and none of these people are loyal they know nothing about loyalty, even to themselves. Never mind being loyal to anybody else. They're not loyal to themselves. They're not loyal to themselves. I'm, oh. And this is why I check out. Like, for me, I can't. It's energy draining. It's boo lang lang. It's ridiculousness. And we all know that. We all know it's ridiculousness. How do, but you know what? Because I started thinking about some things too and certain things and certain things I'm into that other people are not. Like, I'm an all ball out type of person. I'm an all ball out type of personality. i always been. I've never been the type of person that actually went all the way with the grain or the flow or any of that. Some say I'm argumentative, right? And, you know, being self-absorbed, I'm like, I'm not argumentative. But if you really step outside the box and just try to think on and just catch these things that some people may say about you, like I'm a self-analyzer, point blank, period. My grandmother taught me to be a self-analyzer. So... Even in a situation where I feel like I was wronged, I always look at how I handled the situation, how I maybe could have done it a different way and better. You know what I mean? So that's kind of how I always grew up. So, it, like, a lot of my ways, I was, my grandmother taught me a lot of them. And. <laughs> I love, I miss her so much. But she used to always think I wasn't listening. But I am a sponge. I love information. I love knowledge. I love learning new things. Like, I love all of that. Learning people, places, and things. You know what I mean? Even my experience on here on YouTube. This is like a culture shock to... This would be a culture shock to other people. And it is to other people. Like... This is something I really believe in, my channel. I really believe in my channel. And I introduce it to my friends who I would, no matter what they was doing, I would support them. You know what I mean? And I feel like they don't support me. And they don't support me because a lot of them, I'm going to just keep it 100. They feel like this is boo lang lang and it's frivolous and it's don't make any sense. To, they don't get it. They don't get it. So to like people who really don't get this YouTube culture, because it is a YouTube culture, y'all, y'all essentially, we are y'all. <laughs> Look at me trying to leave me out the mix. We are essentially a subculture. And those of us who do this and take it seriously, understand what it is, X, Y, and Z, we get it. But there's people on the outside looking in that might tap in for a second that don't get it. And really, they really think it's a waste of time, too. A lot of them think it's a waste of time. But see, the one thing about me is no matter what my friends was doing, whether I agree with it or not, because they was my friends, I was able to know to support them anyway. You know what I mean? And my grandmother always taught me that sometimes... Your friends may come to you to, like, um, decompose, you know what I mean? Just 
we leave an event, whatever. And it's not necessarily that they're always coming to you for your opinion or your thought or what you think. They just might need a listening ear. Some people just need a listening ear. They don't necessarily need somebody who is going to judge them or X, Y, and Z. You know what I mean? As I've gotten older, like I said, my grandma always thought I wasn't listening, but I was listening. And, you know, as I continue to grow, because one of the things about us as humans, there are lessons that we're going to have to learn on our own. Even if somebody tries to stop us from really um, comp- um, repeating patterns, you know, remember, there's nothing new under, 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 around, or over the sun. Like, I'm stuttering a lot. I don't like that. But anywho, so... It's all about your own process. And your process is not necessarily going to match up with somebody else's process. So, you know, it is a saying. Different strokes for different folks. There was a show, too. I don't know any of y'all telling them my age again, but (laughs) I loved that show. Anywho, yes. So, Different strokes for different folks. Everybody's lessons and paths to to their journey and to their lessons is not going to be the same as somebody else's. They may be similar, but it's not going to be the same. Nothing's the same in life, period. Even our own bodies. If you really pay attention to your body, you're going to have an arm that's longer than the other, a leg that's longer than the other, an eye that's wider than the other, closer than the other. Like, it, if you really pay attention, like, nothing's perfect. Nothing's perfect, and no one's perfect. Everybody make mistakes, and here we go with this word again, discernment. You just got to pay attention, and there's always certain ways to handle things. I remember a situation happened with me and somebody that I really cared and loved about, and my grandmother was like, listen, You're gonna, there's gonna be times in your life where you're gonna have to be able to walk away. And you can't, you don't have to act a fool. You don't have to disrespect nobody. Cause sometimes silence is golden and it kills people. Sometimes silence kills them. Especially when they know what they did wrong and what they was looking for out of you was a reaction. And they don't get it. Mm. That kills them. And I'm a Cappy. I don't know if anybody else is a Capricorn. But if you are, you know how we can be. And you know we are no nonsense. When it comes to certain things. And that's just the, that's just the truth of the matter. You know what I mean, guys? But anyways, it's the 4th of July weekend, and get ready, guys. Well, week, because it's not even on a weekend, 4th of July week. So, I just want to tell y'all, remember, it takes more. It takes more muscles to frown than it does to smile. And remember, to spread love, light. And butterflies. Love you guys. Now float on into the universe.